Welcome back everyone, uh, my name is Andy and uh, today we are playing Rome Total War once more, this is part 2, but before that I would like to um, remind you to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you are seeing here, it would mean a lot uh, to this uh, tiny legion <laughs> that we are commanding here, so thank you so much uh, for doing that. Last time we uh, went to war with the Gauls, um, but we also had some pesky rebels roaming our countryside, and uh, we cannot have that. So now we are going to attack this rebel army. It fled, and the question remains whether we will be able to actually reach them. I think not, but we shall try. I think we can maybe even create a tiny... It would be kind of cool to have a fort there, I'm not gonna lie. Just like... Actually, no. But we'll have to wait. <laughs> anyway. Um, now, we are the closest uh, factions. We, we are trying to find factions we can conduct trade with. And we can see on the map, uh, we've, we've found some. This is a rebel area. Here, there lives uh, a faction um, that we don't quite know yet. I think it's uh, uh, Dacia or Dacia. Uh, but we will find out once we find them. We are losing some money, but that's fine. Oh, a Gaul army. Um, we do not want these rebels, though. So let's attack them again. They move. Now we have the choice of which one to attack. Let's try the Gauls, because I know they will try to attack us later. And the rebels probably won't, but uh... yeah, let's go for the Gauls. For uh, they stand their ground. They have three units of spearmen, which uh, we will uh, hopefully crush. The Gauls fool themselves. And think they are our equals, or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. They will try to stop us crossing the river. We must, if we are to win. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens, and let strength and honor be your watchword today! Look how awesome is that? He even mentioned the river. Like, the flippin' landscape of the battle map. That is so cool. Anyway, we have our usual tactic. Um, range in front. Uh, he said not to mention the... Or not to sort of... Um, that the enemy would try to make us not cross the river, but since we have the um, the um, the range units, I think we won't have to, at least for a while. And we even have uh, ranged uh, spear units. So let's see here. Hopefully we can stand on the other side of the river here. Uh, but that doesn't seem fully possible, so we'll cross it just a bit. And we'll, we will wait for them behind here. Okay. Can you not shoot from uh, the water? I guess they cannot. We'll set up shop here. This is gonna be risky. <laughs> the pathfinding is kinda off. If the AI uh, had been smart, they would have just rushed our uh, archers. These are pretty defenseless um, versus soldiers. Let's see. Let's shoot their general. Uh, 
And we can just basically uh, hang back here and uh, try to uh, snipe them with our um, spears in order to not have any necessary casualties or unnecessary casualties. Let's see. You lined up. We have the auto throw on, but I guess we can click on them as well. Our unit is fleeing, sadly. Probably because we shot them in the back or something. That was not a very tactical move of me. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his arm. The gods be praised. Okay. Enemies' hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Mm. I did uh, choose to continue this because I don't want them to uh, have this army walking around. This game actually looks uh, pretty good still. Like, there's something timeless about. Um, about the graphics. And there he goes. Like, even though the animations obviously aren't as good as they are in the later games, there's something really just like crisp and uh, colorful about the graphics. I think this is the last guy. This is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. Yes. Very good. Once more, we are victorious. Victory! And Imperator. we should probably take out this rebel army while we can. They have some, some better troops than the Gauls, I would say, so let's also do this one on the battle map. I'm not risking anything during this playthrough. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Over there stand the rebel slaves. They are braver and more worthy than men of their type have any right to be. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different, so lay into them with a will. Today, the carrion birds feast, but they will feast upon our enemies, not on good Roman flesh! Yeah. <laughs> uh, doesn't get old. You mean like it really doesn't uh, get old because he says different things every time, or with slight variations, or just like just amazing shit, just amazing stuff. Okay. Now the way fatigue works in this game and in Total Wars in general, is that the more you move your soldiers around, the more they fight, the more tired your soldiers become. Um, for example, as you can see here, uh, the Hastadi are 
fresh, meaning that they have yet to really uh, become tired. Now, they can become tired and at and at the worst they are exhausted uh, and that's when you kind of want to have them cycled out and sort of um, just like not uh, experience action at that point uh, but of course that's hard in a lot of cases because um, you are prob probably in a pretty advantageous situation already if you can afford to cycle your units out and not use them actively see they have spears here I think I'll uh, want to start shooting. Having archers just like lets us do so many things. Um, kind of just initiating the assault before the enemy is allowed to do anything. Okay, so they're attacking with their horses. We do well in... Um, Setting up our defense here. Oh, that's not good for them. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. But, okay, we can set this up once more. And uh, I will run away with the general here. Because I don't want to face the same fate as they did. I probably will, though. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Amazing. I just love how cavalry just mows everything down. Uh, Rome and Medieval 2 does that so well. Um, something that like the later games just do not, at least up until I guess like Warhammer or something. But in the Empire and uh, Napoleon and I think Shogun and even Rome 2 to be honest, cavalry is just like not what they should be. I think it has something to do with engine limitations and stuff. But, facts are facts. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory! Victory! Amazing. <clears throat> now, Forward. I think... I will create a fort here. Build fort. That way we can set up our defenses a bit. Yes, master. And uh, be safe from enemy engagement. Let's see. Here's yes. the border with this Without region. The the I think the city's like here or here. But but I'm not, not entirely sure, uh, sure. So we're going to check that out. We need some more soldiers, I think. We can... Create all of these at the same turn. Um, I think we'll create two, and we have a family member there. I'll put him in Suggesta so it can have a. Um, okay, he's so bad at management though, uh, but but maybe he will get better with time. Uh, being in a city, I think, uh, sort of, generally provides uh, uh, family members with experience in what in what they're doing, so they should become better with time.
making money, Senate offices. The noble senators of Rome have decided in their wisdom that your faction does not deserve the honor of holding any of the Republic's offices at the state of this time. <laughs> that sucks. So the Brutii family got one, and the uh, Scipii family was, I guess, promoted or something. Uh, so we see how the Senate is a total suck-ass to uh, these other families. Uh, I wouldn't say that's really, like... Yeah, I don't know. Screw the Senate. Arimenium. Um, we do, again, we need some of the income. Let's create a market. I want that to be like a main trading city. And we want to suggest that to grow. So the farms will, will um, be good for that. Um, but... The city will only grow once um, once the settlement reaches uh, 2,000 uh, people. Um, and lowering the tax rate doesn't really lose us that much money, like about 72. Um, so lowering it will provide growth, uh, like much needed growth. So we will do that. Um, now we can move this over there. And I think maybe we will take Media. Hmm. Our mission is Narbo Marches. Do we have a timer on that? Three turns. Oh. Ah, oh, I did. I uh, totally overlooked that. That's really bad. We won't be able to take it in three turns. I don't I think so. Yes, so we're going to fail that mission. Move, Sadly. Um, that's totally on me. Because we can only move so far. Imperator. Imperator. General. Sir. Why did they, they ask us to take this faraway city? Anyway. We can do some other things. I'm going to put this guy in, in this fort just to keep it. Uh, later. For now, I'll leave this one there. And we shall take... Uh, oh, Batavium has a lot of units. Could be hard to take. I think... Is there a way to retrain units in this game? Uh, I guess like it's possible to combine them. But I guess maybe we'll have to be inside a city. To do that in a good, uh, good way. Anyway, it's... Uh, Okay, no, it takes one turn just to, to make one. Um, this shows, I think, that we just need more um, soldiers. And that the Senate is totally against us. Let's see, true Roman. This man is widely seen as having some of the best qualities of an ideal Roman, including a healthy skepticism about foreigners. <laughs> plus one influence improves the chance of getting elected to senatorial offices, plus five bonus to your popularity with the Senate. It's actually very good. And he's a superior commander. So yes, we shall have uh, Cassius Civilis. Oh, new family member. Master Hunter. Construction complete of a market. Okay. Um, so let's see here. The Gallic faction heir. We'll put, put these two into the fort. Um... We will attack this one. He'll flee. Oh, I'm sad about the, the city still. Let's see. And since there's only one guy, I think we can safely auto-resolve this. We did lose so many men, though. Um, so even, like, even a battle like that, it's just never... Like, it's just not worth it. I guess he, since he was, like, a faction heir, he was especially powerful. And he didn't even die. Um, so that proves, my friends, that battles should always, at least in 99% of cases, be fought by you. At least on this difficulty. General, Move out. Ready to ambush. General, oh, and we forgot to move our diplomat. 
our economy is balancing out. Let's see, where's the city? Up, up there it is. Oh, oh my God! No. Okay. Next, next turn. <clears throat> yeah, we're not making money really. Um, we need. To... So what's the thing? Minus six. Poor, poor harvest. That's not good. Taxes, trade. Your armed forces' total running costs are divided up according to settlement size. This amount is being paid from here. 1436. The salaries of for your generals and agents are divided up according to settlement size. And this is the amount paid from here. So that's about 2000. Let's see what Ariminium says. 1364. Yeah, it's basically the same. Devastation. And Suggesta. It's a lot less, 160 and 76. So I guess it's like the units created from that city also makes the city, um, like it forces it to pay uh, from General. that city's local economy. Uh, I think it would be smart to take up Patavium before it, could, it becomes too strong. But our units are just so um, destroyed. I think I'll have to combine them, sadly. It will make us more money, I think. Uh, because we just um, what's this? The AI spend policy. Um, General. Three generals, General. though. March. That's quite Generals. powerful. Imperator. Maybe it would be smart to siege Medialodum. That that way we could get some money. And I don't know if these will be able to reach us from over here in Sir. one turn. I will risk it. General, attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Create some. Settlement under sea, sir. Oh, yes, another one here. Master. Okay, so the goals are pretty powerful, You're as on. we can clearly see. We can only hope they don't do something stupid. Uh, we uh, failed this mission, as we knew we would. Market it in Armenium. Alliance between Armenia and Egypt. We made some more money, and in Armenium, yes, we are now in the plus, which is very good. Uh, no, I mean Aretium. Um, let's see, Mediolanum. And this is the faction heir that managed to uh, basically this. <laughs> uh, yeah, he lost the battle before, but uh, did a lot of damage, and now we will do a lot of damage to him. So let's do this on the battle map. I don't want to lose unnecessary uh, men. Today we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? Today we go into battle against the Gauls. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. <laughs> Great speech, sir. Great speech. Now, the ramps are used to destroy their walls uh, and give us um, a way to get into the city. They will fire down upon us from these towers. We can't destroy them uh, because we don't have catapults or anything. Um, but it won't really matter, I think. I think they'll stop once we capture the walls. We can use our archers. Um, actually, they are not defending their walls. They're running into the uh, main section here. Their command post, so to speak. General Spartigard. Uh, this was the faction heir and a family member. So we are inflicting some damage.
Here we go. Our soldiers are at the Our soldiers are at the walls. <laughs> now they must batter a way through. 10% damage per hit. It's, uh, I guess, a bit less on the walls. No, yeah, 8%. More. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. Perfect. The city is open to us. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. So the thing about <clears throat> cities is that you can either uh, rout all of the enemy uh, units um, or, or obviously destroy them, um, or if not, they will always flee to this point, and once they are in this point, they will fight to the death. Uh, meaning that sending your general into this area is not really wise, because you don't want him to die, and he can't rout the enemy. What we can do is try to make them come to us. Kind of don't want to be in the uh, like on a hill though. I mean on the like the downward part. So we, we let's try to stand to get up there. And you guys, I guess for now you can be in the back if you can shoot from here. Now, horses are weak against uh, spears, I believe. Um, of course, everybody kind of are, but... Um, I think this will be satisfying to watch if uh, and when we are in range. So the archers are definitely in range. Here they are coming, and uh, our men should put their spears up, if not, there we go. And they're too slow. Or... That was a massacre. Although they're still uh, pretty fresh. Let's see. Gained a level. See, he's wavering. And rowdy. Nice. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. And now we will, uh, instead of running forward, we shall run back and regroup. 
All of them have uh, spears left to throw, which means we can move them forward. Uh, actually, let's uh, stay here. Stay in formation! You fools! Let's see. Fairly short work of these, especially once our tree REI are in. Because uh, spearmen are um, extremely good against cavalry, at least, uh, at least our spearmen. They're fleeing. Coming back. To once more save ourselves from losing too many units. We will regroup and um, instead of just running straight on, we will try to get try to get them from a ranged position. Here they come. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! And we won! All oh, Rome will be amazed at such a victory! The day is ours! And we only, um... How many did we lose? Yeah, about a hundred and something. We probably killed some of our, some of our own with those spears, but... Um, you know what? That is to be expected. Victory! This land is Roman! I think we will enslave them again. Um, because we will get more population in our other cities and a good amount of loot. Although exterminating would give us a nice piece of loot. But I, I, I don't, do not want to completely destroy the province. Nice. Plus one command when fighting against barbarians. Plus one percent bonus to cash gain from looting. Uh, and that's Fl Flavius Julius, our uh, faction leader. Um, let's see. Slaves. Is there a slave modifier? Yes, for 20 turns. Resource is exhausted after 20 turns. Let's see. So this population now grew to 900. That's a lot more than before. And uh, we make a lot more money now. Um, I think we... Let's see. We need to rebuild the walls. Because they are definitely coming to attack us. That is an ominous force. Um, yeah, we can retrain units, and uh, I think we can retrain all of them at once. It's not like when you recruit a new, a completely new unit. Um, let's see. Ugh. They're coming for our borders, border cities, I suspect. I think I'll move one Hastati to Suggesta. Um, just to sort of defend that city a bit better. You might want to move one general to suggest no here okay we already have a general there um ah this is hard but okay we will defend our city if we have to Sir, let's see honor. daisy and lodge town oh there's other other uh diplomats here but daisy yeah. what does the senate think about daisy yeah. currently far from your thoughts Friendly, friendly diplomatic relations should be established. Yes. I speak with Let's them see if once. they want some trade rights and maybe map information. They accepted. Very good. No so they problem. have a large piece of territory, but only three territories. Um, it's only quite massive. Can we speak to more people during the same turn? Yes, we can. Let's try this as well. Uh, they accepted. 
Uh, we can speak to the Germanic one as well. So we're getting a lot of map information now. Very nice to see. Uh, but the Senate, what did you think of Thracia? Uh, friend, friend, the friendly diplomatic relations. And with Germania, the same. So let's try to do that. Yes. Germanic, trade rights, and map information. Oh, so they are demanding 50 denarii per turn. I guess we don't have to maybe give you map information then. I'll just give you the money. Uh, and they did not want that. You just want trade rights. No, at least not for now. That was good. I wonder if it does anything for us because they're so far away. Uh, probably not yet. Oh, they made roads. That, that looks nice. Blockade port Sparta. So the Senate wants us to blockade uh, the dock of Sparta. Who controls it? Macedonia? Are we at war with Mace Macedonia? Uh, we are not. I guess we don't... Maybe it might not be Macedonian still. Corinth neutral neutral settlement. So they actually want us to go to war with them? Sparta. Yeah, I guess so. Well, the Senate says so um Yeah, Manius Julius plus one management. Okay, that's really good. We need some good management guys. Um maybe moving him to Suggesta would be better. Oh, not good. Prayer complete. Very good. And we retrained all or most of our units, which means we have um, a lot of their strength back. We could consider meeting this Gallic army in the field. Um, but it would be dangerous too. Let's see, we could use some roads here. And retrain that and create that guy. Um, one more soldier, thank you. Batavium, they don't have that many now. I, I, I don't know how they would reinforce their western uh, front when they're in the east, but they might have just moved them elsewhere. Can I be of service? Yes, you can. Your honor. Yeah, I guess we'll move him down to. Um, Wish we could have gotten something with Germany because they're kind of close. But let's yeah, we, we can maybe just move them to to their places then. Yeah, they're actually right up here. The spy as well here, I think. Uh, and we can move our fleet down to try to uh, block that port. Got roads in Medialonum. They are coming for Sagesta, that is fairly evident. But our force is now larger uh, in Medi Medialonum. Attacking this one would probably maybe be the best choice because it's so large and it probably would not flee since we're fairly evenly matched. Um, that sounds like a good idea to me. If we could win, uh, win, of course. They have a lot of horses. And in open fields, horses are dangerous. Uh, but we do have... We have general bodyguards. There's so many, though. 54, 54, 23. Um, good use of our spear throwers is uh, extremely important. So, this guy has uh, three command. He's not the best general. Our leader has four. I think that's something we uh, shall try to do, actually. But I think that will be done in the 
in the next episode. Thank you so much uh, for watching. It's a pleasure to be playing uh, Rome again. Uh, I hope you will like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. And uh, I hope you'll join us uh, next time as well. So thank you so much and uh, have a great day, guys.